Good afternoon, Cyclecraft Parsippany. Mike speaking. How can I help you? Hi. You're looking for a Niner Rip 9 RDO 3 Star in a large? Oh, I'm sorry. We don't have those bikes. Those are backordered for quite some time. They're telling us it could take nine months to get that bike. Yeah, I know it takes that long to give birth to a baby, so uh, I may have some other options for you. Would you be interested in hearing it? So unless you've been living in a secluded hideaway in the woods with no contact to the outside world, you've probably heard about the shortages of just about everything, including bicycles. While it's been extremely frustrating, it has made us more creative in helping our customers keep the rubber side down and their bikes rolling. And if you've been jonesing to find a new mountain bike or road bike and have had a hard time finding one, we have some great options for you to upgrade your bike. So what Mike is talking about is refitting your current bike with the new and upgraded drivetrain system and other parts that can really level up your ride experience. So Mike, let's talk about the upgrade path. Give me a brief overview of what we're talking about and then we'll drill down into some specific examples. Sure. Well, we have upgrade kits from SRAM, including the mechanical GX upgrade kits, as well as the electronic upgrade kits. And these are great options. And we're talking about for mountain bikes, road bikes, gravel bikes, any of those platforms we can do some of these upgrades on? Sure. Okay, let's get specific. Let's say I have a 2016 Cannondale Habit 3. Great handling bike with a carbon frame and Cannondale lefty fork. I really like this bike a lot. The problem is my 2x10 drivetrain is totally beat. And I was thinking about just getting a new bike, but I can't find one that I really like that has all the, the parts on it that I want. Specifically, I want to do a 1x12 drivetrain with electronic shifting on it. So okay. what parts am I going to change on my uh, Cannondale Habit that will get me to that point? Okay. So to bring that bike up to speed, you would be looking at a new crank set okay. with a 1x chainring. Mm -hmm. And new bottom bracket. A new bottom bracket. Okay. A 12-speed chain. Okay. A wide range 12 speed cassette along with the derailleur and shifter, which are wireless. Okay, and, and all of this is uh, retrofitable to my Cannondale, even though it's a few years old. Yes, we would actually have to provide you with a special cassette to fit your particular wheel, but we can make that happen. And that's because it's a Shimano hub body on that wheel. Correct. Okay, sounds like a good starting point. Uh, what would that set me back? That will set you back roughly $1,000 covering labor as well. Okay, so all in, I'm looking at about 1000 bucks. Yeah. All right, that's not so bad. All right, so now if I really want to go the full Megilla, I want the 12-speed drivetrain, but I want to have the full wide-range Eagle buttery shifting that uh, I was really dreaming about. Mm. So that would be with a 10 to 52-tooth range cassette. Is that correct? correct? Yes. Okay, what do I need to change on my bike now in order to make that happen? In order to make that happen, we would have to change your wheel set to get the updated XD driver body. Gotcha. Okay, so what are we talking about price-wise? Well, wheels range vastly in price. So depending on where we're at, you can be on aluminum or carbon. I would budget around $1,600 to do that. Okay, so $1,600 gets me carbon wheels with XD driver body and also includes a little bit more money because the original kit I was gonna get was an NX cassette Correct. with an 11 to 50. Upgrading to the GX cassette with the 10 to 52, it's a little bit more expensive for the cassette. So all in, I'm adding about another $1,600 cost on top of the original 1,000. So that gets me, I'm still under $2,700 all in with labor. Correct. Okay. Uh, so do you think that's a good investment? I think it's a great investment considering it's going to be a hard time finding a new bike. And even if you did, you'd be looking at $4,500 to $5,000 for wow. your bike. Yeah. Okay. With so those components. With on. those components, yeah. right? So to get a, a, a more modern bike, with all those components, I'm still looking at a minimum of 4,500 bucks to get into that kind of a bike. Correct. So at this point, $2,700 seems like a really great deal. Absolutely. Uh, and even at that price point, you know, that, that $1,500 wheel set, carbon wheels, is a better wheel set than I would probably be getting on this newer $4,500 bike. Right? So it sounds like upgrading is probably a really good idea at this point, yes. considering the availability. All right, let's say I already have a bike, uh, a newer bike with a 1x11 mechanical drivetrain with worn out chain, cassette, and chain ring. What should I do? You can do the same thing. Uh, you wouldn't have to necessarily replace your crank set because your current crank and chain ring are compatible with the 12 speed. Um, we could upgrade the rest of the components to bring you up to speed to where you need to be. Okay, and price-wise, where am I at about? 
uh, roughly nine hundred dollars. Okay, so still pretty affordable, and I can upgrade even if I it's a two year old bike with a one by eleven or three year old bike with one by eleven, upgrading to uh, one by twelve electronic shifting is is pretty doable. Yes, fantastic. All right, well that does sound a lot more affordable than I would have expected uh, at the beginning. Uh, so let's say that I've got a one by twelve bike. It's only a year old, but I want to make it electronic. What do I need to do? At that point, that's a pretty simple transition. Uh, all you would really need to do is to upgrade your derailleur and your shifter to SRAM's access technology. Okay, and what's the price on that kit? This is $600. And install? Uh, I figure around $100 for labor. Okay, so still for 700 or less, I'm looking at upgrading my 1x12 mechanical bike to the GX access shifter and derailleur. Correct. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. Uh, so those are uh, actually a lot of good uh, upgrade paths. Um, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna bring my Cannondale habit in and have that done. So Mike, if people want to get this done on their bike, what should they do? You can visit us on our website at www.cyclecraft.com or give us a ring at 973-227-4462. So bring their bike down, give them a full evaluation, and tell them exactly what they would need to upgrade their bike. Absolutely. Well, that sounds pretty easy. Thanks again, Mike, and thanks to all of you for tuning into CycleCraft TV. Do us a favor and use your shifter finger to hit that like button and then subscribe to see more programming from CycleCraft TV. We'll see you next time and keep the rubber side down.